before we move on to the next lesson, a lot of people had questions about the last lesson on setting up your pencils, and you're going to. This is not a concept that is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. It's really something you've got to learn to see. And as we go through all these lessons, and we've got the whole entire course ahead of us, I'm going to come back to this many, many, many times. Almost in every single video, we're going to be going over the same concepts. I'm just introducing it to you in the first three, a little bit more in depth. With a lot of people having questions about it, I'm going to do a little bit of a review today before I give you that next lesson. So we were talking about how the color wheel works and how to get the undertones in your pencils. Just for those of you who may have questions, this is something you're going to learn. For the rest of your journey, you may not have to set up your pencils. I don't set up every set. I kind of know by now how to do it. For this course, you are starting at the basic beginning. You're learning your ABCs, and that's why I'm having you set up your pencil sets the way I am. Now, we were working with the deli pencils. So you have your color wheel. On this side of the color wheel, where it's light, these are your pastel colors. I had a question about that. These are your pastel colors. Pastel is only your saturated color, which would be your outside color, with white added in. So this is why we start at pink, because pink is red with white in it. So if you follow a linear line, you would start with your pinks because pink is white and red and then it gets darker until you get the fully saturated red. Once you have this color, say you have a red that's darker, you turn it over and this is the muted side, okay? This is the side where you start to add in a gray. Grays mute colors, they darken it until you get a shadowed or a shaded and that's when you're starting to add in the blacks. So you see how this starts to get darker until these are they're harder to see the differences. These are still all reds. Okay now you're gonna take out your deli sheet. Okay so I'm gonna pick any color on the deli sheet. I'm gonna pick this one. Now I did greens already. Let's let's go on to the other sheet because I didn't touch that one. Okay, so here we have the violets. I didn't put this out in the other video like I said I was. I was going to tell you this. Deli, unfortunately, changed up their pencil numbers. So if I give you it and your set doesn't have the same number, you're going to completely go off. You're going to have to just do it. Unfortunately, with these sets that come out of China, the numbers and the colors change so rapidly, you have to work with your individual set. It's why it's so confusing. Your deli set could be different than your neighbor's deli set. And from what I've learned is that the sets that Andy puts out and the sets that you get off AliExpress um, are different. I didn't know that before. It's not the colors are different, it's the numbering system is different. So it's just something unfortunate and we'll move on from there because it really doesn't matter. So we're going to take this color and this is like a violet and I'm going to look on my sheet. So we are really looking at the violets and the red violets because you could see here this color is matching towards the red violets. Okay? Place this underneath to be 100% sure. Now, you know it's not a violet. We're looking at this one. It pretty much matches. Now, is it going to match perfectly? No. But you could see and feel that this is a red violet. If you start moving, say, to this one, this and this are both violets, but this is not a, a red violet. Now we'll move it into the violets. This is a little bit dark. So you're going to say, hmm, it's a little bit dark. You know it's a violet. It could be towards a blue violet. But when you move it into the blue violets, it becomes lighter. So somewhere in there, you're going to have to find this color. 
and you're going to turn the set over. Look at the same designations for it. Now we're looking for this and start moving it over. Now, violet is darker. Let's see if we can find a lighter one. No. Getting a little bit better. Getting a lot better. And you pretty much hit it. It's very hard to see it when it's not behind this page. But there we have it, right under the violet, right there, where the colors are starting to match with each other. So what happened? They added white to violet. This is the same color. They're, they're the same colors, except this has white in it. And it's considered tinted or pastelled. This is part of a pastel color. And it's very comfortable to your eye when you start moving it down and proving it. Now, if I want to test it against the blue, okay, you can see that this doesn't really fit. It feels different, it feels weird. Um, you could see that this is more blue. And this kind of fades into each other pretty nicely. So this would absolutely be a violet, not a blue violet. And if you put it on the red violets, you could see that it's not a red violet. It is 100% violet. Okay, let's try one more. Um, we're going to look up this color because this is magenta. Okay, let's go find out what magenta is. Now, it's a bright color, so we might start on the brighter side. It's definitely not a red violet because red violet is deeper purple. This is pinkier. So I'm going to move on to the violet reds. Right when I hit the violet red, it feels more comfortable. Does not feel comfortable under red violet. Feels comfortable under violet red. Looking at this one. Now as we move it down to adjust it, look how closely matched they're becoming. And here we hit it. The third one down. What is it? It's a violet red. Once you get used to spotting the undertone in the pencils, this goes extremely quickly. It's harder the first couple times that you do it. She, I hope that helped a lot. I know it was blurred out. There's, there's a shine on it, and I'm sure if you have this, you know it, there's a shine on it. Now, people had a question with the, the grayscale. The grayscale is a value finder. Value means how bright is your pencil. And because this is gray and this is colored, you sort of have to, in your mind, gray it out. Now, some people turned around and then grayed out this and it turned out to be a disaster. That works sometimes. But depending on how your lighting is, the way you adjusted the gray, it could be completely wrong. That's why I like this finder as a stable entity to everybody. Now I'm going to take this color, okay? And already I have a, a shine on it. So I'm going to take this color. I want to find out what the value of this color is. Ah, uh, that's pretty bright. Where I was talking about the numbers, the numbers are going to be found right on the sheet. So this is a value 3, and you can tell it's not a value 3. Let's try a value 4. No. A value 5. It's getting there, okay? It's starting to not pop out on the paper as much when you have a value four. That's what you're trying to look to see, how it's popping up 
in brightness against whatever is in the background. So this would be your background, and now you're looking at to see if this is popping. It's starting to disappear at value 5. Value 6, it's really not popping at 6. Now it's starting to look dark. So I would put this value range at around a 6. Okay? Now you can have different colors of these pencils. Okay? These being the um, red violets. You can have different shades of it. Or say you have this and another color here. These both can have the same value, how bright they are. What we're going to be working with is how to stretch out the value that comes on the paper. This is less of a lesson that you learn at the beginning. This becomes more of an issue when you've gotten most of your layers down and you've got to start making that picture pop out. Okay, so I'm not as concerned with you getting this perfect and understanding. You don't have to do anything with this yet. Have it, play with it, understand it, and then we will be working with it later on. This is the most important thing right now for you to have. This is the biggest concept because we have one more class that has the beginning concepts on it, and then we're going to start right into the paperwork, and you're going to be doing the artwork. So I hope this helped. I really do. And if it didn't help, just write to me. So there were a couple of other things that I wanted to go over quickly with you. Just some tidbits of things. Not everybody has this problem, but some people did. How to download from Etsy. And I'm going to talk about any file off of Etsy because people get a little bit confused. As a vendor, I put my stuff into Etsy. As a buyer, you're buying it from Etsy. They take care of the middleman. What a lot of people are getting confused at is, or they hit the purchase and they don't wait. There's like a five to 10 minute delay between purchase and you being able to download it. Where the Etsy shop is kind of figuring things out and deleting the, you know, numbers and adding numbers, whatever they're doing, it takes a few minutes. If you sit and wait after you, you made the purchase and you sit and wait five, seven minutes and hit refresh, a new box is going to come up. And it may take even longer. Um, a new box is going to come up that has a download and it's going to say your file is ready to download. That's when you can download it. Now say you completely missed that. You ended up going out of it. You didn't have time. You weren't on the right device and you you paid for the course and you didn't download it yet. On the top, you're going to see some icons. You go into your account, you're going to see icons. You're going to see a little one that says you on it. When you um, put the mouse over, it's going to go like you. That's your back settings. Push that and you're going to have, it's a menu. And in that menu, you're going to have, it's going to say purchase history. Push that. And more than likely, it's going to be right at the top. And it's going to say not ready or ready. And when it says ready for download, you just push that download button and make sure that you download all the files that are in. Now, right now, there are five. You may have gotten four and you may have gotten three. If you got three, you bought it within the first 24 hours. As I went along, I added things that I just didn't want to keep having to give out. Like I added in the graph paper, even though I was giving it out in um, the Facebook group and I said people can download it, you know, I would send it, that gets to be a pain in the butt. Everybody that bought it after that video came out, a file with a piece of graph paper in it. I did it for your convenience. And there should be a file for a blank one. That's for you to put in your own. Being that... I was paying $15 per set. And then I would I would find out, well, there's three or four different versions of that set. So the one that I'm giving out is almost, you know, 
is a hit and miss whether you've got it or not. And that's why I decided to put it. I gave you the ones that I had that I knew was stable. And then I gave you a blank sheet so that you can write in what you need to write in. Okay? So that explains how many files. You're, right now, you're going to get five files. But if you have four and if you have three, it's okay too. If you need those files, just write to me. Or look at, we're putting it in, the, I'm putting those things into the Facebook group, into the file section. So I hope that helps. Um, pencil prices were kind of high this week. That's why I didn't put anything great out. Andy did not tell me he was running a sale because he's on vacation. So I guess it slipped up his mind. They have some sort of big celebration in China. And, it, and apparently everything closes down for many days when China has big celebrations and it just happened to have been one. The pencils are going well. We may have to change up three or four pencils in the set because they're just too close in color. And I didn't think I had a choice. I had to pick very close, but apparently Andy is handling it. We're, we're going to have other of the same. And so that's where we're at now. We're doing... Everything is in the finalized and he's going into production, but we're just settling on those last couple of pencils. Takes time. Hard work for Andy. That's about it, and I will see you in my next video, which will probably be Monday or Tuesday. Take care. Bye-bye.